I'm Red Lady, and today I'm going to be watching The Wheel of Time Episode 3. So really quick recap about where we ended last episode. It looks like everyone's separated in groups of two possibly. Where they're going to go, I would love to make assumptions about that, but I, I don't think I have enough information to even begin there. So I'm not sure. But one thing is definitely for certain, and that's Nanaeve means business, with that sword to throat. So let's go ahead and just jump into it and see where the show takes us now. Oh, this must explain what happened to her. What did you do, lady? How did you get out of this? One's hurt. Oh, good lord! I kind of thought that they were going to do that. So do they cannibalize their own because they don't like weakness? Or is there a combination of the two where they don't like weakness and they have no way to actually heal the others? So you just eat them. Yeah, run, lady. Run. Go, 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 go. Oh, no trip. Is there a cave or something? I was gonna say. <laughs> How long can you hold your breath? Quietly, quietly. I'm hoping she either has big lungs or she's able to unconsciously channel the way to hold her breath for long. Here's hoping. Is she gonna have to do that? Or is it just stupid? It's not gonna notice her. Oh, it is smart enough to actually do the water. Do you have anything on you? Can you slit his throat? <gasps> now you do! Oh my... No, no wonder how she made it to them! She's a badass! I saw some people putting that in the comments and now I'm like, Neo, I'm starting to believe. She's alive. Man, I have much respect for you, lady. No wonder she made it to them. I'm so sorry that I doubted you. I'm so sorry. I do have a question, though. Why did the troll like, drag her away from the rest of the village? I mean, it looked like they were indiscriminately killing everybody in there. Why was she special? Or do they only pull like certain strong women away and for other purposes and God, I'm not going there. Let me just erase that thought from my mind and let's just move right along. Where are my friends? Are they alive? He doesn't actually know at this point. You won't ask again. They're not here. The Dark One is coming for your friends. And Moraine has fought his forces for everything she has. She cares about them so much, then why did she leave them? She didn't. I did. Yeah, that's true. You know, you kind of get the feeling that Lon cares more about Moraine than he does the actual mission that they're on. Or is it something else? You think I'm gonna help her? You should. You will if you want to help your friends. Exactly, for that sole reason, at least. You both know that you won't. <laughs> she would. Well, she would. To kill me. Let go of me. I love Lon Surpriser. It's something tiny, but I thought it was funny because Nanaeve ain't playing around. Iguine! That would be some treacherous terrain, let me tell you. Iguine! Beautiful, though. Who knows what's out there? They can hear us. Yeah, you still got things tracking you. Let's find a way home. Yeah? And if we find them along the way... We're not going back home. Or arrange that the Trollocs will come back if we did. Exactly, you can't. She said we need to go... To, to the, the tower. tower. Do you guys know how to get there? And you believe, Moraine. Go to the closest village and ask me? Egwene does. Find it's the east. closest city or something. We know that. Ran has a point. Go to the tower. The only bad thing is I don't think the Aes Sedai at the tower are going to welcome them with open arms without Moraine. Those wolves! I think they're following us! Keep going! You Come should on. know if they are. Go keep them back. I, I need to know, is this wound bothering him? Is that what's causing this or is it just because he's scared? Or is it a combination? Come on! She can do it. Nice. Was that me or you? If you wouldn't mind channeling us some food or water. <laughs> I love that he's taking that in stride. Question though, when did Egwene learn to do that? Or was it a combination between Perrin striking the, the, the rocks together or whatever and 
uh, creating sparks and then her trying attempting to channel. I don't know. Uh, so I thought the wolves were going to leave them alone because the one went and licked his leg back in the forest and then that pack you know, kept going. Or it's just like a separate pack of wolves that's, you know, hounding after him now. But I know where Rand will be headed. Tower. Back home. No, he won't, actually. No, he won't. He'll go where he thinks you're going. To the tower. Come here. I'll keep watch. You get warm, get some rest. Karen has more faith in Rand than she does. You know, ever since the first episode when we saw him in the tavern staring across the room towards Egwene, I always had weird vibes about it. Like, there's something there, but only on his side. You know what I mean? You said you tracked me. How? All the way from the two rivers to Stalakos. How? You said you could ask, not let it answer. Oh, come on. I want to know. All right, I'm ready. They were on a horses. Did she follow the trail or the, the horses? Lives, and she's got to have a really good eye to be able to do that. I've heard about the bond between an Aes Sedai and a warder. Oh, he's a warder. I feel what she feels. Question of, does that link go both ways? Like, can she feel what he feels too? And going back to what I was talking about before, if he does care about her, like, romantically or something like that, does she know and she just doesn't ever say anything? Or have they talked about that? And to expand on that too, are Aes Sedai limited like Wisdom are where they can't have children or um, get married? And if so, is that why some men become warders for Aes Sedai? Because they do fall in love and they have that link they can, they can really share. It's kind of like a ceremonial bond. And how do you even get a warder? Is it like a training camp for these guys? Hmm. So get ready, because this is going to hurt. <sighs> oh, God. I learned something new. Sweet. Oh, plus it's oh god, it's so disgusting. I hate when he's gotta be super strong though to be able to withstand all the because she's been like this for a while. So if one dies, do they just feel it or do they? So I'm thinking they just feel it when the Aes Sedai dies that they're linked to, right? Because I know it's it's backwards, but the queen in the one story she felt the death of her husband, but she didn't die. Wait a minute, does that mean that the husband was her warder? Could be right. She was just a channeler and not an Aes Sedai. At least I think so. Oh, there are the eyes. He's having a dream. That's got to be the dark one. All oh, the wolves are eating her. So was that the dark one saying that he knows what he did to her? Run. Or is there significance that the wolf was eating her stomach besides the fact that he accidentally killed her? Like, is she pregnant or something? I don't know. Actually, the dead wife's words, I know, in the dream can mean a lot of things. Like, it can mean the dark one knows that he's got um, the ability to channel, do something with the wolves. And that's why the wolf is eating his wife's body. It could also mean maybe the dark one knows that he secretly wanted his wife to die at some point or at least you know, leave him. So he could try and be with Egwene because he harbors, you know, affection for her. It could mean a lot of things, actually, now that I think about it. Why have they stopped? Yeah, why? You have to get moving. Come on. Is there a barrier here at the end of the forest where they're at? Or is there something more evil up ahead? Oh, pretty. And they can ask Sarah where the White Tower is. It's a nice way of welcoming people. Huh. So you will be on best behavior then. What were they put in there for, though? Is that like stealing or something? Come on. Is he gonna take the crystal? He does have affinity for greed. I wonder why we never had one of these in two rivers. Charming, really. But no one's taken it, so I wouldn't take it either. And the words of Admiral Akbar. It's a trap! Is it a mining town? Has anyone else come into town today? Our age, a woman with a braid or a big man, a blacksmith. No, the only other fresh one in town is a gleeman. Let's quiet down, he's about to do another song. A gleeman? Is he like a bard? Or a minstrel? He calls 
The whole world spray can. The first dragon. That small jitsu I met in a prison of his making. The man who can't forget. So, does that mean that the dragon does remember the past lives? Because he can't forget. I don't trust anyone in here. Come on. An Asian for the Gleeman. Oh, okay. And a small fee for the life lesson. Bloody I was going to say. The best one's on. Why is he being so nice? He wasn't. I like it. So I'm guessing we're going to see him again. And he had really good sleight of hand skills. And you know what they say about bards and minstrels. They could be really good assassins back in the day. Best occupation for someone who's a forever traveler. And someone that no one ever looks twice at, you know? Empty. Heart. We've headed east towards the White Tower. The might have, Perrin. It might have been the White Cloaks you came across earlier. They led us here. I'm telling you, it has to do with something with him. He has something with them. We roll back until we know who we're following. Because maybe they weren't trying to, to eat them. They were trying to lead them, like, you know, like she said. You know, the place looks like it would have a bed made of, beds made of straw and fleece. <laughs> My friend and I find ourselves in dire financial straits and in need of a place to sleep, just for the night. We throw ourselves at the feet of your mercy and charity. Do you have a stable they can sleep in? Go on then. You know, I find this bit extremely funny because I've read many a book where there's a traveling person and they happen to sleep on the floor next to the cooking stove or the fire. And I've never realized how nasty that floor is because that floor is nasty. Start by splitting all that. Sure, two strong lads like you can manage. Yeah, how does she run this by herself? She can't be by herself, is she? Gwen and Perrin are going to the White Tower. They're probably dead. That's not something you should say. Even if they aren't, you don't need to go there for her. She wouldn't do it for you. She did say she wanted to go. You are she thought he would go back home. But my question is, is this really the true him talking, or Go is that if he has a dagger, is it still affecting this. him? You do whatever you want, like always. Is it going to affect him like the ring from Lord of the Rings? It's the only thing I could think of for comparison. I don't mean to compare the two shows or, you know, the two books or whatever. But yeah, from what I'm familiar with, cursed items generally tend to affect your personality the longer it's in your possession. And Matt was okay when they were on the mountains, but now his demeanor has changed unless he's just finally speaking the things that he's been keeping in, but... I don't know. No one cares about anything other than when the next beer's coming. So it's your choice. Serve beer or chop wood. I'm usually the one drinking. <gasps> then you'll know how pissed off people get waiting so long. Should have chopped wood. Customer service sucks. <laughs> and yes, that is me speaking from experience. Riverboat. But you'll need more tips than that. How much more? A few hundred tables more. Double of your friends going with you. Mm. I'm going to leave one ticket. You would leave him. Bit of a shame you're headed home. I like the fact you got out. He really ran that easily, though. I mean, I know he doesn't believe in the, in the one of them being the dragon, but that's why I'm not really sure if he's fully in control of his thoughts and emotions right now. I thought they were tighter than that. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. But someplace new. Someplace new, you can be whatever you want. And no one's gonna know the dirt you were born in. Those words must strike him hard. Where is he going? Where are you going? What happens watching my every move? Why do you want him around? You need to. I'm surprised she wanted him to stay. Where's he gonna go? To try to find an Aes Sedai? Don't be so sure. <gasps> He's leaving you with her. He, he trusts you. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about what those carts were. Is it the White Cloaks? Were they going towards the tower? What if they get to the tower and there's like, there's been a war at the tower? That looks amazing and also ominous in a way. What is the fog for? Is it a barrier? Magical barrier, maybe? I never trust fog. <laughs> what is that you hear? Do you know the song? Well, the only two songs we know so far is the Manathra one and then the one about the dragon. Go on. Say it. Say it. 
your welcome warms our our spirit as your fire warms the flesh, but we do not know the song. Satisfied. Then we seek still. As it was, so shall it be, if we but remember, seek and find. Her words kind of seem like people who used to be part of the party for the dragon. And they died and reincarnated, but they remembered they were with the dragon and their purpose. And so it, if they happen to remember, they go and seek them out too. So like they're another group looking for the dragon. But maybe they only remember bits and pieces like you know the, their purpose. If that's true, maybe they're, the song they're looking for is actually Gleeman's about the dragon. Because maybe he goes around singing it, seeing if it'll trigger something in someone. And then he either takes them in or he leads them towards uh, this group. I don't know. Are they like gypsies? Plains rumbers? They're re very welcoming. I have a hard time trusting any kind of stuff like this. We're the Tuatahan, the traveling people. The people who steal your gold and your children. Oh, are. gypsies. Our fires are open to all, for as long as you need them. And you too. You look like you need them. Yeah, no kidding. I'm gonna take a look at his wound. Cause I'm kind of worried about that. They're thankful. Yeah, this just seems too good to be true, you know? They welcome him in without knowing anything about him. I mean, just because those words seem like they had reincarnated and they know about the dragon, doesn't necessarily mean that they were working for the right side. Guess we'll see. What are you doing, boy? This is the Gleeman. Is that the same with you? Old man? He's more than what he is. He has to be. What did he do? This wasn't justice. I heard them in town bragging about killing a Nihil. Nihil? But it is rare to see that color of hair outside the Nihil waist. Red? Tell me when you're finished. Everybody has their own morals. In honor. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, I'm surprised they left that on the body and didn't take all the valuables and money. That, that seems odd. And that's why I thought it was a trap. Don't know what's right. Oh, she likes him. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I saw that coming. I'm sorry, I didn't. No, sorry. Didn't mean to. I came on too strong, didn't I? No, it has nothing to do with you. It's just that I... Was it the hair? What? No, I shouldn't be afraid of it. Makes me look too much like her, doesn't it? Who are you? Damn sure didn't see that coming. Like who? Egwene. How does she know Egwene? Is the Dark Alert in an assassins? I mean, how would he even know where they are, except for maybe is he following through their dreams? But she says she's been here all her life. Or is that a lie? I don't know. What are you doing? Waiting. For what? Matt. We need him too. Needing Matt too means she needs them alive because she could kill Rand right now, but she's not doing it. Even though the room is supposed to be soundproof, right? Which means that she's going to capture them and take them where? Into who? Is she working for another faction entirely that we don't know about? Is she, or is she working for the Dark Lord? But if she's working for the Dark Lord, doesn't he want them dead? I don't, I don't understand. Matt calls them. Tell Marin that. I feel like I should probably write that name down. <laughs> Who is this lady? Why do you think I brought you here? That door is made of iron with three men your size couldn't break it down. Are we gonna see his his ability? Yes! Yes! Good job, Ran. The question is, did he unconsciously weaken the door or did he unconsciously enhance his strength somehow? She knows these streets. I see you. At night, in my dreams, all five of you. What? But only one of you matters. Only one of you can be it. Five? Be what? The five. dragon. Five? Wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Is that why Maureen went to Nanai Eve first, before anybody else in the village? And she talked to her and said she had power. And is that why she asked, when they all gathered together after the village was attacked, where she was? And then once she found out she was dead, then she let it go that let her know that you know she wasn't the one 
wait a minute, is that why the child didn't kill her and only pulled her away from the village? And is that also why she was able to find them because maybe the, the voices of the wind, you know, guided her or some mess because she is the dragon? Dude, please. Is it her? Please tell me it's her. Now that I know she's a badass, please hold up your <laughs> Seriously though, anybody watching this, please don't tell me. The last time someone brought the dragon to the Dark One, we still remember his name 3,000 years on. It's Shamiel. You let the Dark One kill us. He doesn't want to kill you. That's what the Aes Sedai want. He wants you to save us. Can't you see that? The wheel keeps turning and people keep hurting. They want to break Every the wheel. Every man who comes to this shite town has a story. The dragon has a chance to change all that. He wants to break the wheel? Break the wheel. Yep. Make it stop. Wait, wait. So going by her words, the Aes Sedai want to actually kill the dragon. Are they wanting to kill the dragon so the dragon can't be used by the Dark One? But if the Dark One wants to capture them and use them, then the Chalks that came down from the mountain weren't trying to kill them. They were trying to capture them. And if so, freaking Nana Eve has to be the fifth one. Also, she didn't mention the name of Shemiel, and usually names are important, and we just learned the name of the, the Gleeman. Is he the reincarnation of a Shemiel? And does he feel guilty for what he did? And there's like so... So many theories. Oh, sh is it is it is it the, the singer? It is okay. I knew he'd be important. Just, then you hear her. She's a dark friend boy, sworn body and soul to the dark one. If what you said is true, we need to leave now. Where are you going? East and fast. Are you coming? East is good. Yes, yes, go east. Wait, is east toward the White Tower? And if the girl's right, the I said I do want to kill the dragon. So if he is the dude who's reincarnated who took the dragon to the Dark Lord, it makes sense that he would want to take him there to have him die, because this time he didn't, he wouldn't want the fall to happen again, right? Am I reaching? I'm probably reaching. <laughs> it's a lady from the beginning. Moraine Sedai. If you're here Andrew. to help, you're too late. We captured a man calling himself the Dragon Reborn. Wait, what? Who is this? Okay, is it just me or does that guy have kind of like a, a mad false prophet look about him? I mean, that's just me. But did Maureen also look like she recognized him or did she just look shocked that they were claiming they found someone who's saying they're a dragon? Could be either one, really. I couldn't really tell because she looks still sickly. But... Oh my god, there's just so much that you can put, try to put together in this episode for the tidbits they gave you. Like when Dana, the freaking dark fiend lady, said that she knew who they were because of the dreams she was having. So my thing is, is the dreams that these four are having that are influenced by the Dark Lord, is he like broadcasting that in all of the dark fiends, you know, heads at night or something? Is that how they're able to know who these people are? And the name Ishmael that she, that she mentioned, is it... Could it possibly be, like I said, you know, uh, the Gleeman guy? Because he's obviously important. And all the other theories that I came up with <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. But the gypsy, the, um, they, they call themselves tinkerers, right? Yeah, I don't know if I trust them because they just seem too nice to strangers who just came out of nowhere. And they're giving them food and all kinds of stuff. Could they also be dark friends? But then I thought about them. I was like, they, they should know who they are. Why would they ask them about a song? Unless they haven't, you know, played their hand. Maybe that was just a ruse or something. I don't know. But maybe they could be the reincarnated companions of the dragon. And instead of, like, the Aes Sedai or the Dark One, they actually want to try to work with them to, I don't know, uh, take down the Dark One once and for all. But yeah, as for the fifth person who could possibly be the dragon who the Dark Friend talked about, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that's not naive. I'm convinced. And this guy that they just showed, I, I think he's like a false prophet. I, I just think he's like blowing smoke. He, he might be he might be the madness talking, you know what I mean? As for what each group should do or is going to do, I'm not really sure, but I do have some guesses. Like, I think Nana Eve is going to obviously follow Moraine and Lon and then, you know, the Red Lady and then this new guy. Probably back to the White Tower, and if she, she happens to get there, they'll probably do some tests or something to see if she's the one, and she'll probably find out that they think that she's probably the dragon. The question is, is there any white cloaks there? Because maybe when they make it back to the White Tower, the white cloaks will have already, you know, uh, the Whisperer ones anyway, will have already tried to um, break into it or kill people. I don't know. 
And uh, I think we'll see a journey between Lon and Matt and uh, the Gleeman trying to make it to if they're heading east. I think that's where that White Tower is. If, if we'll probably see their journey and maybe they'll meet up and see what's happening after. Because I think the first people who are going to get there, obviously, is probably going to be uh, Maureen and Nanaeve and stuff because they, they, they're on horses. So they'll, so Rand, Matt, and the Gleeman will probably see the aftermath of whatever happens after they get there. As for Perrin and Yuguin, I'm not really sure because it depends on if these tinkers are good people or not. If they are good, um, they'll probably send them on their way and tell them where the White Tower is. But I just don't see, I do not trust people, <laughs> especially when they're trying to be too nice to you. So I have a bad feeling. But if I am right about them being reincarnated guardians or whatever that actually want to help the dragon and not kill them like the Aes Sedai or use them like the dark or the dark one, then maybe they'll, I'm not really sure where that, what, what's going to happen to that group. Uh, maybe they'll be the last ones to actually head to the tower if the tinkers let them go, you know, free and stuff and give them directions on how to get there. However, I think depending on where they're at, because uh, we don't know what direction they went. They might be on the other side of like maybe the war because I'm pretty sure we're going to end up seeing the war that they keep talking about at some point, right? I'm also guessing that somebody or some pair could actually be captured and taken or at least taken on a journey to go to the Dark One, but they don't actually reach it, you know, or something. And I think right now, if there is a if there is a pairing that would probably do that, it would probably end up being Perrin and Eguine by the Tinkers. <laughs> but I mean, that that's more, neither here nor there. Anyway, but I do think at some point. That dagger also that Matt has, I think it may be messing with him. Maybe it's just like lightly right now, but something's going to happen with the, with the dagger too. I'm not sure. So those are my guesses for what might happen in the next episode and what's going to happen to the people in the groups. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see. I'm eagerly waiting it. How about you?